Mayor Gene Stothert had called this an all hands on deck situation for streets, public works, and parks crews. Roughly 112 trucks and two dozen private contractors putting down salt, and the job is not done yet. Reporter Miranda Christian is live with that part of the story tonight. Miranda. We know crews have been working around the clock since last Friday to keep these roads clear of ice. And right now, they're trying to keep it clear from refreezing overnight. Now, right now, I spoke with Jennifer Zeppelin about what the pavement needs to be. If the pavement goes under below the freezing point, that's when that refreezing really comes into effect. And if I test the pavement right now, it clocks in at about 22 degrees, which is below freezing, which means this sidewalk, this area could mean refreezing over the night and city crews are really working on keeping that from happening. The day started with rain and a bit of ice on the streets. The main road started to clear throughout the day. Uh, the roads are pretty much fine, but last night they were pretty iced over and stuff. So. Later in the evening, the ice had started to melt off the trees and the streets were just wet. The city had hundreds of trucks out on the streets. Between their city plows and their 23 contractors, they were working around the clock and putting salt down. I mean, our plan is to, to keep the secondaries and the majors as clear as we possibly can with repeat passes with our trucks to resalt as many times as we have to. The goal is to keep the roads from refreezing. Vino Babinski says he had no trouble on the roads late into the evening. Even though I have four-wheel drive, I, don't, I didn't find the roads slippery at all, and I tried my brakes even on the side streets, and I was fine. Endor says they will be out on the highways and interstate to watch for any refreeze. Well, they're out for the evening, and then they'll check. They'll be out all night. I'll have crews out all night, and we, the interstate will be good for the morning commute. Both city and state will stay according to plan to make sure everyone has a safe commute tomorrow morning. It's going to be very, very slick in the morning, so we will still concentrate on, on the areas that we've been concentrating on, including the residentials. It's just a wait and see, see what it looks like. It'll probably, we'll probably be out during the morning commute, and it'll probably end shortly after that. Well, that's just a normal process, you know, so again, people need to be careful, leave a, you know, distance following, you know, and be careful, and if you don't have to be out there, don't be out there, you know. Couldn't really have said it better myself there, but even though road crews are going to be out this evening, if you go out tomorrow, please know to be careful because there may be some icing. As I've stood here, I have, have seen city and state plows go by me, so they definitely are out tonight trying to keep you safe. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News. Well,